Now, farmers are preparing for spring planting and may shake things up this year. And Google has a new way to turn your TV into a photo album. Jane King is live at the NASDAQ market site with those stories and much more. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Leslie. Good morning to all. Major shifts in acreage appear to be playing out this planting season. So Farm Futures Magazine says farmers intend to boost soybean planting more than earlier estimates while cutting back on corn acres. If the Farm Futures survey is accurate, soybean plantings would be nearly 83 million acres. That would be an all-time high. Well, the number of Americans enjoying a daily cup of coffee has dropped this year. Now, granted, still about two-thirds of us drink a cup of java every day, but that is down slightly from last year. However, the National Coffee Association says the popularity of espresso and cappuccino is jumping. And Google has released a new app that lets users easily stream pictures from smartphones, tablets, or laptops onto TVs using Chromecast device. Now, TechCrunch says the app is called Photo Wall, and it was created to inspire outside developers to make their own projects and then post them on Google-owned YouTube. IMAX moving forward with laser technology, signing 63 laser projectors. Now, many of these will be in China. Variety reports IMAX is partnering with Kodak and Barco on these screens, which are 80 feet or larger, and they're considered to be very filmmaker friendly. Now, IMAX spent $40 million to develop the technology. Okay, stocks weak again yesterday. We had some mixed signals from the Federal Reserve, weak manufacturing in China, the Dow lower by 26 to 16,277. The Nasdaq was the weakest again, another 1% down, 51 points lower. And the S&P 500 fell by 10, looks flat for the start of things today. Live from the Nasdaq market side in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your morning business report. Leslie, back to you. So Jane, what should we be watching today? Well, a lot of housing data will come out today. We get home prices and also new home sales. So we're going to learn a lot about the health of the housing mm -hmm. market. You know, we've seen it certainly recover uh, since the financial crisis, but it's kind of slowed down a little bit. So well, house prices have been up, interest rates have gone up a little bit, mm -hmm. so we'll see if that's still having impact on the housing market. And, of course, we'll have the latest on that on News4SA.com. Jane, have a great day. Yep. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Well, spring is here, and that doesn't mean just dusting around the house for spring cleaning. You may also want to make a clean slate for your finances. Now that you're finishing up with your taxes, experts say it's a great time to manage your money as well. That includes making a budget and seeing just how much money is going in and out of your account. Plus, cleaning up your credit report or taking care of high credit card balances. You can also take time to look at your auto pay options for subscriptions and other items that you may have forgotten about. Out. And money now may be the best time to get into the real estate game, but there's one thing that experts say you need to do first. So if you're looking to buy this year, start with a pre-approval letter from a lender. Buyers are facing more scrutiny these days as housing prices rise, and a pre-approval letter will let you know exactly how much you can spend. Now, for sellers, make sure that you have the most up-to-date comps for your area. Rising prices mean that the comps that you got in the fall could be outdated already. And listen to this one. If you like ranch on your pizza, a shop owner in Dallas is trying to change your eating habits. The owner of an Italian restaurant wants to stop people from dipping their pizza <laughs> in ranch. So he posted a sign reading, Side of delicious ranch dressing, $1,000. He says he likes keeping his food authentic, <laughs> and he thinks that ranch dressing with pizza is just downright weird. It started as a joke, though, and some people got upset with users on Reddit calling it a sign of being arrogant. Please. Well, this morning, we want to know what you think. Log on to our News for San Antonio Facebook page and leave us a comment. Tell us what you think about the restaurant's posted sign. Again, a side of ranch will cost you a thousand bucks at that pizza place. In other